So now we're going to take a close look at the Blue Sun Inverter. And we'll come around first over to the side. Remember we talked about the RSD? So here's your remote shutdown, your rapid shutdown button. And here's your PV, your, your uh, solar modules. This turns all four MPPTs on and off. So this is really nice for servicing. So now we'll come around and just take a look at some of the other things. Um, you notice in here you have a nice battery enclosure. Everything's all plastic and it's enclosed. Here's your BMS, that's your battery monitoring system and it just comes through here. Now this system comes with all these nice grommets, all included. It comes with your Wi-Fi module, all included. And uh, the only thing you have to provide is you have to make your battery cables. And of course I went with the, uh, the smart battery pack because uh, that's what I wanted to do here. I want to monitor amperage and what's coming in, what's coming out and things like that. So you can hook up to 15 of these together, these battery, smart battery packs. This is a 48 volt life pole 4. It's a um, um, 100 amp power. So to, to run this whole farm uh, without uh, making a lot of changes, uh, three of these would be sufficient. And uh, you can get these off of uh, uh, off uh, Alberta Lithium or uh, also off Do It. They supply these. This is where this one came from. Now the other thing that we have here is we have relays here for our uh, generator tie-in. That's all right here. What I like about the whole system is everything's labeled to your grid, to your loads. You have, you have two different loads. You can do two load panels. So in other words, if uh, the power goes out and you're running on battery, then lo only load panel number one, breaker panel number one, would be working. And that'd be all your fridges and all your necessary stuff. Load panel two would be all the other stuff that's not as necessary. So when the power comes back on, load panel two, of course, would be back up and running. So uh, this is split phase, so these are our two phases. That's all I'm demonstrating here. I'm running a continuous seven amp load with this heater, and uh, that's what we heat the whole uh, building with. It's not the most efficient way to go, but it gives me a good load to do testing with and so forth. Now here's my PV modules. These are, I just have one PV string coming in and, and they just uh, uh, come in through there and then compression fit right in through there. Now if you had to pull that out, you just pop that out with a screwdriver, you push on the orange tab, and the orange tab allows the wire to slip out. So it's, it's, quite, it's quite a nice system. It's, this is, uh, for me, this is the nicest inverter I've ever worked on. Now, we've done a, already done a software upgrade, Blue Sun. The guys at Blue Sun are terrific to work with, They're very responsive. And uh, we're testing out some new firmware, and we just upload it right in through this uh, USB port from our laptop. So it's quite simple for us as technicians. Now, I'm going to look at the screen up here. Now... I like the screen. Now, it might not be everyone's favorite, but uh, for me, it gives me a lot of information. I can scroll down and uh, I can look at, there's my, my watts, what I'm getting out of my PV. There's PV2, of course, there's nothing. I'm gonna go back up PV1. So there's, there's my PV1. And uh, so anyways, you can look at all your watts and your, you can look at your batteries and you can set your DOD that's depth of discharge and so on and so forth. So it's a very informative screen. That's about all we need, really need to look at. The programming, it pretty well comes out of the box programmed for self-use mode. So you could use that for grid tire off grid. Um, at the end of the season, we'll do another video and we'll go through the programming and we'll show the audience uh, a few more things on, on this inverter. So thank you again and thank you to Blue Sun team and Alberta Lithium for making this possible. And we're hoping that this inverter is the one that we're gonna recommend for using in the Canadian Arctic. So thanks again guys and we'll see you next time.